Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, a couple of months ago I had done a makeup tutorial um, for preparation of when I would be having sleepless nights with my newborn. And since then I've kept a couple of items in my rotation, but I've added some new things that I recently received or purchased. Um, so I wanted to share with you. This is me like no makeup. I literally showered and then that was the end of uh, my day. So um, I have a mirror next to me, so if you see me look over the side it's because of that. I am going to show you what I've been using and do like a get ready with me video, but it'll be quick because I'm not really wearing that many things. Um, I am the L'Oreal Lumi True Match. Um, I've been really using this one, oops, a lot, but I just dab it all over my face. And then um, I've been using this Tarte Cosmetics brush that um, I got like a free with purchase when I bought a Tarte foundation from QVC and um, it's I was using the sponge applicator I posted in my other video but I'm really liking this one so just rubbing it all in um, the Lumi kind of gives a little bit of a sheen to it not like in a super greasy way but more just in um, a glow which when you're not really sleeping that much at times or in small increments then um, it kind of helps anything that helps um, on average, I get about two, well, if I go to bed at my normal time, I usually get about three hours of sleep, maybe four, before Ryan wakes up, um, and then I feed him, and then he sleeps again, but the other night, I timed it where I fed him, and I put him down, and he slept five hours, which is what he normally does the first stretch of the night. He's one month old right now, um, or actually five weeks tomorrow. Uh, and so when that happened, then I actually got like a full five hours of sleep, which was super awesome. <clears throat> the next thing I'm going to do is put on the L'Oreal Visible Lift CC Eye Cream. This thing, I posted in my video how awesome it is, and it really is good how fun, um, for under, ba under eye bags or whatever. And then um, the next thing that, okay. So I never used to fill in my brows. I just was like, whatever, you can see my brows. They're like normal looking brows. But ever since I did um, the last video, I was using, I have it in here. I was using the e.l.f. Brow, brow eyebrow kit that came with a, um, this is kind of more like a wax and then a powder. It makes you look so much more awake when you actually do your brows. So, recently one of my friends that sells the Unique Makeup, um, she was doing a special like flash sale. So I bought their um, <clears throat> brow liner set. So this is the Moonstruck Pre Precision Brow Liner. It has a spoolie on one end, and then the other end has the actual really thin tipped eyeliner or eyebrow portion. And then the second step <clears throat> is this Precision Brow Gel that's also like on a little... Um, a little like mascara e brush kind of thing, but super small. So now, every time when I do my makeup, I start with I start with um, brushing my brows, and then I use the pencil tip to kind of just go over. And my mirror is so far away right now that I'm like, hope I don't mess up. But um, just adding in some more stroke so it looks a little bit more fuller and um, <clears throat> then the wax is great at the end to kind of just help give a little bit of color but also keep them in place and lately like when I'm going anywhere now all I really do is my brows and then I'll do like a light sweep um, <clears throat> of a shimmer eyeshadow um, and then that's like it well and mascara because you can't go anywhere without mascara so um, another friend of mine she was posting something about the Unique, and she said to go, like, backwards with the brush. But um, when I did that, I kind of got a little messy. But I think it's so that way it kind of coats um, a little bit better the different um, hairs on your eyebrows. Um, but so you can just use it and brush it into place. The pencil is also really awesome, apparently, if you got a botched um, eyebrow waxing or shaping or whatever. So just applying just that, like you can just, like, I feel like my eyes just kind of draws the attention up instead of down by the bags. Um, and then, so for my shadow, 
For my shadow, I'm still using the same L'Oreal one I also posted about in that video. Um, there is a light, like, pearl color um, that's got a little bit of, like, a champagne tone to it. So I just always put that underneath my brows to kind of add a little highlight. And then I just wipe over some light pink shimmer. Okay. So now, my other fun thing that I got was the Roller Lash Mascara from my cousin for my birthday. Now, <clears throat> this mascara wand is pretty crazy. Let's see if I can get this to do this. Um, so it's got on one side of like the curl part, they're like teeny, teeny, tiny little bristles that are plastic. And the other side, they're longer. So the whole point is that you're supposed to just keep twisting it and pull, and just so that it's coating your eyelashes. And also um, coating your eyelashes and also curling them up. And it's like so quiet if I don't talk. So every day I've been putting this on like the past like three days because I kept leaving it um, on my kitchen dining room or my dining room table. And um, when I was doing that, like I get ready. Whenever I go out somewhere, it's in my bathroom and it's I just get too lazy to go walk and get it. So, I don't. Um, so, I just do this on each eye, and then I also um, put one more coat on. But I just, like, do you ever hate that your eyelashes are not the same, like, on each side? Like, this side, I love these eyes. I, this one, I don't. Part of the being that I have, um, like, a mole freckle, like, right on my eyelid part. So, every, like, it doesn't really grow eyelashes there. And the ones that are there, they kind of get all whacked out, so that's just a personal story. And I don't even want to try to figure out how you get that removed, because I'm sure it involves a lot of pain, and I'm not about pain. So, two coats of it, and um, this stuff, it does seem to last a long time. Like, the other night, I had posted a selfie of me and Ryan, and I had put on my makeup, like, not early in the day, but, like, not late at night. I mean, not, like, super late. So, anyways, um, so I was just trying to autofocus my face, and it, like, didn't do what I thought, so it made fun it funny. Anyways, um, <clears throat> so I just did my, my, my lashes. Since I'm not in my own actual bathroom, it's a little hard to get accurate, but, or, like, because my mirror's so far away, so they don't look as awesome as they normally would. But next up is a little bit of bronzer. Um, this is also by Unique. It's Beachfront Bronzer in Sunset. I think it's the lightest shade. I know I got a sample from my girl, and I tried out three different colors, and this was the one that like seemed to do well. So I just add a little bit, just to give me a little extra color. It's not contouring because Lord knows I suck at that. I've tried, and it just I don't know. I don't seem to notice much, but. At least with bronzer, I feel like it's so forgiving. So if you screw up, like, not a big deal. So I do that, and then, um, I think that's all, oh, I think that's all my makeup. So anyways, as you can just see, it's a little, it's a little bit, like, ooh, ooh. Anyways, um, so yeah, so thanks for getting ready with me, and now I'm going to go sit in my living room, and eventually we're going to be having our Christmas Eve Eve um, celebration at church. So excited for that. Thank you. Have a good day. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, let me know what is your, one your new, um, makeup items that you like and, um, happy holidays.